Hello buddies, welcome back to my channel, The Circle Touch. Thank you so much for joining and please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Today we are baking from scratch. You need 2 cups flour, 2 tablespoons of baking powder, 2 eggs, your butter, wooden spoon, your milk, and your vanilla essence, one tablespoon, and your one cup oil. Your butter must be out of the fridge before use. Scoop your baking powder, level it up, and mix it well. Add your sugar and mix it well. Beat your eggs in a bowl using a fork. Beat it nicely until it gives you a creamy, nice look. After you have done with that, you can add your vanilla essence, one tablespoon of vanilla essence. You add one tablespoon of vanilla essence and you mix it all properly. Mix it all nicely one tablespoon of vanilla essence and you add your oil you mix it perfectly nice and thoroughly until it's well combined add your milk and mix at a time as you are pouring it and mix it well until it looks creamier Now it's getting ready for you to add on your flour mixture, but before you need to melt your butter. And you must remember as we are using oil as well, you just need a little bit of butter, about maybe 100 gram, and you will mix your butter using a fork or you mesh it rather using your fork make sure you take it out of the fridge before using after it it's well you add it to your flour mix with hand until the flour looks like breadcrumbs make sure you cover everything that is in a bowl add your wet ingredients into your mixture by opening a wall in the flour and pour and mix it all thoroughly now use your hand to combine flour and butter together just make sure you press it in your hand so that it will be soft when it's ready it will give you the breadcrumbs look and you will know that the butter is melted in the flour make sure you pour your mixture in the middle of the flour so it will be easier for you to mix it properly. Your mixture is ready you can grease your pan using butter and you can put your baking paper make sure you grease your pan properly from the bottom to the top on the side and all over Cover your pan with baking paper and pour your mixture in the pan. Bake for 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, mine was on 30 minutes. And place your heat on 180 degrees Celsius or according to your oven. 
mine was baked on 180 because 200 is too hot and it will bend the cake so make sure you understand your oven before baking anything level your mixture with the spatula side to side or holding the pan and shaking it to level it up as your cake is baking, you need to prepare your buttercream by creaming together butter and icing sugar and you will need 500 gram of icing sugar and 300 gram of butter, your vanilla essence or your egg white, helping the mixture to be loosened and fluffy. add your icing sugar remember we said 500 gram of icing sugar then this is your icing sugar you will add here very creamy butter you can swear it's done now uh, but you still have to add icing sugar so don't just pour it all Add it slowly and mix. Add it slowly and mix so that it should be well done. Slowly and mix. Take it easy. Make sure you get everything mixed properly and well. You see how it's coming. Very nice, it's coming because I used the vanilla to loosen the butter so the butter it's already welcoming the icing sugar so it's not becoming stiff now this is how your icing sugar must be for your buttercream let me say your buttercream must be like this very fluffy if you want it more fluffy again, you can use egg white and egg white helps egg white helps loosen up the cream or making it fluffy. You just need to open the hole in your egg to get that egg white so you will loosen your buttercream. It will give you a nice creamy look and it will be fluffy. It will look like ice cream and you know that it has loosened up. So it will be easier for spreading in your cake as well. It's like ice cream. It's fluffy and light. Hold it here and cut it in 10 so that it will be even so this is a waste now for kids so this is your one cake This is your first layer cake. You add the second one. Second layer. You spread your butter cream. Cover it and you spread, a, you spread again your buttercream nicely, spread it nicely, cover every edge like this, you add your layer again, make sure it's equal. Make sure it's equal. You make sure it's equal. Make sure it's equal. You 
the buttercream again and you spread it like that then corner to corner just like that make sure you don't press it hard for it to break especially with for the the buttercream to come to stick on nicely so we will cut these edges like that just a little bit not too much remember here it was bigger than this top part so just a little bit not butter your cake like that from corner to corner do it nicely like that Turn it nicely. Now we'll be smoothing it, smoothing our cake. You see, this is the cake. We're smoothing it now. And You need to melt your chocolate using boiled water. So this is a dripping cake. So we will need chocolate for dripping. And we need chocolate to be melted. So crush it with your spoon and let it melt in that boiled water. And your chocolate is ready for your dripping. Drip your cake with chocolate using spoon. Put it over the center and spread it all around to get to the edges. You can also use a plastic bottle. Make sure you're spreading your chocolate nicely so it will be spreading properly and nicely.